Mahjong competition rules has 81 scoring elements. In order to learn the scoring, I've decided to play solitaire. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They're to the left of these risers built into walls. That way we can keep an eye on the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left to pick. I'm going to deal the tiles. East gets 14, Southwest and North get 13 tiles. We're gonna say that it is the East round. For Mahjong competition rules, you have to have eight points minimum to qualify to win. So let's see what we can focus on for each of these players, starting with East. For any flower, regardless of the number, you get a point for that. So Let's get a replacement tile. One bam. So where to get score here? We need eight points. Eight points. Since they have mixed suits, I think I'm going to look at the knitted options. Knitted straight is number 35. Three full knitted sequences, 147, 258, 369, each in a different suit. 147, 258, 369. Here's a 39. 147, 147. We have a 470. Oh, it has to be different suits. So these would have to go away. One, four, seven, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, one, four, seven, and two, five, eight, two, five, eight, one, seven. We need a five, eight in here somewhere. So if we played the knitted straight, we could also keep in mind lesser honors and knitted tiles. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, and each, each, where each suit is represented, and then honors, any honors. S let's see here. So there's some possibility there. I think as an option, we have equal numbers of, of suits here. So this is the challenge. Let's see, let's look at instead upper, middle, and lower tiles. Let's just see, we have upper tiles, which are sevens, eights, and nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually seven, eight, nine, five. Here we have uh, five, nine tiles towards a knitted option. Upper four is six through nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is still better. I think we should try for a knitted hand here. So as an option, let's go ahead and get rid of the three bam first. If we start drawing in either dots or cracks, we could switch to a, maybe a flush or half flush. Half flush is six fawn. With our flower, that's seven. We just need one more point somewhere. Maybe a dragon or another flower. Let's focus on knitted for east. And then let's look at south. Okay. 
mixed suits again. We do have a pair of green dragons. That is worth two fawn right there. If we did a half flush and two fawn, that would be eight points. But the challenge here is we have these three suits that are equal in volume here. Three dots, three bams, three cracks. There is a little bit of a pattern with what's called a mixed triple chow, the same sequence in three suits. We do have a gap with no one, two, or three dot. I think what I would probably do here, let's look at to see if there's a something called an outside hand. Outside hand is a scoring element, number 55. Four pungs or chows in a pair where each set has terminals or honors. Here we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. All we need is a pair. I think we should do outside hand for player two, south. And they have their seat wind. Let's do outside hand. That's scoring element number 55. Okay, we're going to look at west now. For west, player three, I think we should do a half flesh. They've got their seat and they've got cracks. We do have five discards, which is a bit high, but I think I would try for a half flesh here, plus a pung of seat wind, as the seat wind. Half flesh is number 50, four pungs or chows in a pair in one suit with honors. So we'd need to get rid of all these. The Pung of Seat Wind is number 61, and that is a three of a kind of the wind corresponding to your seat, in this case, west. So let's see what we can do for north now. Let's see. They do have a lot of dots here. I wonder if we could get them to appear straight. That might be a bit of a long shot, actually. Appear straight is a number 28. Sequence of one and nine in one suit plus any other meld and a pair. That's 24 points. So we could even use this potential chow, this potential chow. These two are isolated. I think we should try for a flush, half flush, or pure straight. Okay, so I think we can get started with east. I'm just gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. We're gonna discard. We're playing outside hand, I think, here. No, this is outside hand. This is knitted straight. Yeah, knitted straight. So we want one, let's see here, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. One, four, seven, Two five eight three six nine honors. We're gonna hold the cracks and dots. Let's discard the three bam. And now we can draw for this player. For this player, we were gonna try for an outside hand, and that is a hand that you can claim discards for. So let's go ahead and commit to it and chow. So we need to get rid of the inner tiles. So that would be this four and the six bam, we won't be able to use. So let's go ahead and discard the four dot. And we can draw for this player. Here, I believe we were going to try for half flesh seat wind. So we're gonna draw, we're not gonna chow that. That would bring their score down to very low. I was gonna say a chicken hand, but they have a pair of their own seat wind north. That's gonna help them get to a half flush. Let's go ahead and discard the nine dot. We have a nine dot there. We need a seven dot. Okay, let's draw 
five dot that fills in that sequence a little bit. Let's go ahead and discard the eight bam. We can draw down here now. Six dot. Yeah, that's not so helpful, but now we have a six seven here. Even though you have a plan for your hand, stay flexible. We have one, two pair at the moment. Let's look at the score for all pung. All pung, number 49. Those are all three of a kind. That's six fawn. We need to get two more fawn somewhere if we switch to pungs. So either way, we haven't used these tiles here because we're focused on 369 for a potential knitted straight. Let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. And now we can draw for south. Five dot. We are trying for outside hand. This five is in the middle of a sequence, so we're gonna get rid of that. Let's try for west now. One crack. Half flesh, that's helpful. Even though it's isolated, we can maybe draw into a chow or get a pair. So let's go ahead and discard the seven bam. And now we can draw for north, four bam. Now we do need, if we're doing a pure straight, we do need another meld and a pair. Let's go ahead and discard this one crack and stick with the pure straight. One crack was discarded, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for east. Two bam. Now we need a 258, I believe. Yep, 258, 258 right there for a knitted straight. So we have two, five, three, nine, one, seven. I think this knitted straight is coming in. Maybe lesser honors and knitted tiles, or yeah, I think either lesser honors or knitted tiles or knitted straight. Lesser honors and knitted tiles is uh, number 34, where you can have odd honors, which are winds and dragons in any combination of the knitted tiles as long as each set is represented. So this is coming in a bit. Now there is the greater honors and knitted tiles. That requires seven odd honors, meaning you have to have north, east, west, south, and red, white, and green dragon. We, we don't have near enough honors to play greater honors and knitted tiles. That's a 24 point hand. So I think we need to discard here, yes. Let's discard this four crack. So I think a knitted straight is probably looking good here. Let's see what we can do now for south. First, let's look and see. Nobody can take a four crack. Two dot. We want outside tiles. Outside hand is what we're looking for. We can get rid of the six bam. Because this two dot can be used with a one and a three. And it, all you need to have are ones and nines in each set or an honor, which are wins and dragons. So six bam was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for west. Six dot. Now we wanted cracks here. We're trying for a half flush. Let's discard the four bam. Up here, we have a chow already. So we don't want to break a chow to make a chow. We'll stay concealed and draw. Five crack, that is a better weight than this. This chow is waiting on a six, eight. They're waiting on a seven crack versus this one is a five, six, waiting on a four, seven. Let's get rid of this. What we really need in here is a pair. Let's get rid of that eight crack because we already have a chow here. And then the straight, the pure straight has three chows in it. So really what we need right here is a pair. Eight crack was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Four crack, we just threw that. We're gonna draw four south. 
three band. Okay, that can be useful. Let's see what's out. There's a seven crack and an eight crack out. No nine cracks are out. There's a one bam. This player actually has a one, two, three chow already. Let's discard this eight crack. And now we can draw up here. Now, if we're trying for a half flush, we could chow that and still leave a potential chow. Let's go ahead and chow the eight crack. We still have a potential chow here. This is isolated, as are these single honors. We need to chow and pung. Let's get rid of the three dot. Up here. We need a one dot to make the one, two, three piece of the pier straight, so we're not gonna take that. Let's draw seven bam. We'll discard that. Nobody can take a seven bam, so let's draw for east. Eight bam. Okay, we were looking for one, four, seven, two, five, eight. We need that. One four seven two five eight three six nine. Let's get rid of the one bam. Their straight is coming in. We still need to get another set though and a pair, so they have a ways to go. Let's draw four south. Four dot. We want outside hand. Ones nines honors. We can get rid of the four dot. Here. West is playing half flush with cracks. Five bam. North, five bam. We have a two, three, four. We're good. Four crack. Okay, now we have a four, five, six, two, three, four. Here's a two, three, four. You know, let's get rid of this white dragon. That's really not helping at all. And let's see how much a concealed hand is. If we could get them to all chow concealed, let's see what that'll do for us. A concealed hand is element number 62. If you win by discard, it's too fawn. If it's fully concealed, meaning you draw it yourself, it's four. That's number 56. If we did all simples, which is number 68, that's all numbers two through eight. We can get rid of that nine. All simples is two. So I think we might be able to move away from pure straight and go to all simples fully concealed maybe. We do have a potential here for a pure triple chow. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're missing a little here, so that is a weakness. Mixed triple chow is number 41, and that is an eight fawn combination. All right, well, let's keep going. We threw away the white dragon. Let's draw four east. Seven dot. Now they have a pung in here. Either way, whatever way we go here, we don't need the seven bam. We can still do a knitted straight. We could even switch to dots and honors maybe. Okay, here we go. We're gonna draw four south. Eight crack, okay. For, for this player, we're looking for outside hand and we threw an eight crack already. Let's go ahead and discard the eight crack. And we just went through the second wall. We're going into the third wall. Everybody should have a plan for where they're going to get their score. And we've achieved that. We have here, hopefully a knitted straight or half a flush. Here we have outside hand. Here we have half flush. And here we have a potential pure straight or pure triple chow. We're going to draw 
four west. Oh, that was a good pick right there. Nine crack. There's some flexibility now. Well, no, not really, because we need a seven crack regardless. Let's discard this five dot. And we can draw up here. Now for this player, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we're playing the pure straight, we need a six dot, not a five dot. I'd rather stay concealed and see if we could maybe do fully concealed in all chows. We're gonna draw east. That's not gonna be helpful for all simples. If we get rid of that nine dot, we could also have all simples. So down here we can draw for east. Six bam, we need one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. So this six bam is not going to be helpful for any of those. We're going to draw now for south. One dot. Okay, that's outside. One, two, three. Here's seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Lone three. North, south. Let's go ahead and start discarding these wins. They're singles, and for this particular shape, they're not going to be helpful. So I threw a north. Nobody can take a north, so we're going to draw four west. Eight dot. We want cracks. We don't need that eight dot. And nobody can take an eight dot, so we're going to draw four north. Five crack. We need a pair in here. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Five pair. Let's give up on the pure straight and get rid of the nine dot and try for all simples and fully concealed. Let me just remind myself, all simples is number 68, that's two fawn. If we did concealed, that's two, so that's four. All chow is two, so that's six. I think we're gonna need to do all simples and fully concealed or mixed triple chow. Let's see what we can do now for East. Red Dragon, there's a pair. Okay, now maybe, let's get rid of the South, I think, because we could still do a half flush now that we have that Dragon Pung. A half flush with a Pung of Dragons is eight fawn. Let's get rid of the South. And nobody can take the south, so we're going to draw for south. Two crack. Oh, yeah, that filled in a gap. One, two, three, eight, nine, one, two. South was discarded. Let's throw that. And we can draw for west. Two flower. So now they have a fawn with that flower. We'll get a replacement tile. They drew a nine bam, which is not good. We want cracks. So we'll discard that. Nine bam, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw for north. West. They want all simples. We're gonna discard that west. And we're going to have west pung. So now we can discard the six dot. And we can draw up here. We're gonna try to stay concealed. Six dot down here though, we could pung. Let's see. Let's count, we would have we would have five discards if we switch to all pung, maybe half flush. If we stuck with the knitted straight, we would have one, two, three, four, four discards. And we'd have to throw away two pair. There's one six crack out, which we need. We still need a pair. If we have a pair here, let's just say we throw this away. 
147 pair 258 369 potential pung. I think that's pretty close. Let's discard the six dot. Let's see, let me count my tiles. Four, four. We'll see, did I not draw? Four, four, five. Let's see. Oh, okay, I discarded a six dot. I think we should definitely stick with the knitted straight, but I don't want to pung that because I'd like to pung the red instead. We can use this as a pair because we could get too fawn for that. So let's not take that six dot and draw four north. One bam. We want all simple, so ones and nines are not going to help. We're going to draw now four east. Three dot. Oh, shoot. We need a four dot. Let's, oh, let's count. Let's see. Because we, we have, yeah, one, two, three, four blocks. I was thinking we could switch to a half flush and leverage the pung and the pair. Either way, we're going to have lots of discards, but with, with a half flush, we could chow and pung. There's still a six dot out. Let me just look again. Knitted straight is 12 fawn. Uh, let's see, half flesh is six, plus a dragon pung is two, so that would be eight. Let's stick with it. Three dot. Let's stick with the knitted straight. Three dot was discarded. We have a one, two, three out in BAMs, one, two, three in cracks. Let's chow for a mixed, tri mixed triple chow. And now we can discard the three BAM and we're ready to win on a seven dot for mixed triple chow. So their plan is still valid. So now we threw a three BAM. Let's draw for west. One dot, we can throw that. Up here, we're staying concealed, all simples, no ones and nines. North, no honors either. And now down here, we can draw four crack. No, we want a six crack. Let's discard that and draw here. White dragon. Let's draw here. White dragon. Drawing for north. White dragon. Now we're going to draw for east. Two flower. They have another point. Two crack. We need a six crack. We need a six crack and a four dot. We can still hold out though. Let's draw for south. Four bam. That's a discard. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for west. Seven crack. Okay, that was a keeper right there. So now let's see. North was discarded, I believe. So we have an isolated one. Potential chow, potential chow. We've got tiles here. We're heading into the end of the third wall, though. We have two chows, or we have a chow and a pung out. We really don't need these. These are valuable. Wind of the round and dragons. Let's throw the dragon. Try to get rid of that risky tile as early as possible. So we're then going to pung for east. Pung for east. Now we have to decide. Here's 369258 pair. Okay, let's stick with the knitted straight. We need a four dot and a six crack. One or the other will get us ready. Let's discard the six dot. And we're going to go ahead and draw for south. 
three crack. We don't need that. We need a seven dot or a green dragon, I guess. Three crack. Nobody can take it. You might say, well, why not take it here? You can only chow from the player on your left, which would be this player. Green dragon. Let's get rid of it. Now, this player, they could take it for that outside hand plus two points. We're going to pung it. And now we just need to pick the best discard. There's one nine dot out and one eight dot out. Our two nine dots are out, actually. Let's discard that. So they're ready to win on an eight. Down is done. We need to swap this out with an honor or a one or a nine. That discard, um, discarding that nine dot was a mistake. So let's draw for west. Eight bam. We'll discard that. Oh, it goes here and here. All right, now we're going to draw up here. One dot. Okay. Oh, wait, we wanted, we wanted uh, all simples. Let's get rid of that one dot. And we're going to draw for this player now. Eight dot. We need a four dot. We're trying for the knitted straight. Let's discard that eight dot. Now this player here, they could technically win, but I don't think they have enough score with a pure or mixed triple, mixed triple chow. Oh, I was looking at the wrong line. Mixed triple chow is 41, which is eight fawn. Plus dragon pung is two. Let's, let's mahjong with the eight dot. So... We're going to Mahjong. I was looking at a pure double chow. Pure double chow or mixed double chow is 70. That's only one fawn. I think I got the mixed double chow confused with a mixed triple chow. Mixed double chow is only one fawn, but mixed triple chow is eight fawn. Mixed triple chow is number 41. So here we have a pair of the eight dots then we have our mixed triple chow. And a dragon pung. So there's our winner right here, thrown by this player. Solitaire is definitely helping me learn the different scoring elements. Also, at the end of the game, learning how to score. It does seem a little complicated, but it's really not. There are two components of the final hand. You have basic points, which is the value of the hand, and then you have extra points, which each player pays regardless, eight points. I mean, if you think about it, that's the minimum score. So everybody will owe eight points for, to the winner. So if you win by discard, the discarder pays the eight points plus the value of your hand. If you win by self-pick, each player pays the eight points plus the value of your hand. So you get the value of your hand times three and eight points times three. Those are the formulas. It's written on the back of the player reference, which you can find in a link below the video description. There's also a link to the original rules if you want to read the original documentation. I think this version is very challenging. If you have a set at home, get it out and do random pulls and play solitaire so that you can learn the scoring elements and practice scoring so that when you play with other people, you'll do it with ease. If you like this video, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong Competition Rules, also known as MCR, may all your picks be keepers.